Hey friend friends, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see to my right, we have a very special guest in the Fran world, in the Fran friend world. I, I don't know, you guys come up with something, but it's none other than for her third appearance here in the Fran friend world, Helena Vasiliadis. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, thank you. Yes, so if you guys do not know, she does have a YouTube channel now, link is gonna be right here. But in today's video, we are going to be ranking different coffees from different areas. So we have like local coffees or like, you know, coffee shops. And of course we have like your usual everyday coffee shops that's like you can find anywhere across Texas and Northern United States. And as well as my own coffee that I made here at the house, which is probably not gonna be nearly as good. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the coffee that we have here today are, as you can see in front of us, um, it's my coffee in this little French press, little thingy majini. And then we got QT coffee. Now they didn't have like a latte or anything that we could actually do. So it's just coffee with French vanilla, you know, creamer. So we'll see how that tastes. I'm very scared, um, but you know, I'm not gonna dog anyone out until I taste it. And then we have McDonald's, which apparently a lot of people like McDonald's coffee. We're gonna find out today though. And then my personal favorite place to go, Starbucks. And then of course we have West Oak and then uh, Armadillo L Works, which are two local coffee shops uh, where we live. I'll link everything down in the description below. And as well for me, Helena didn't want anything, but I... <laughs> so Helena didn't want anything. He didn't. But I did ask actually, thank you very much. But uh, I got a pumpkin bread from Starbucks uh, because it's like, you know, it's spooky time, spooky, scary. Skeleton? That, that time. As you can see by my little pumpkin patch, you can't see probably because of my P-H-A-T buttocks, but it's it's fine. It's like, you can put that back now. Uh, okay, so we're gonna start with my coffee first because, you know, yeah, so it's not ice, it's still kind of warm, so we're just gonna have to That's fine. deal with it. Um, let me pour. I am such a coffee connoisseur. Oh my god, are you gonna give me that much? Yes, and you're gonna have to chuck all of it. I'm probably just gonna do this. Right there. It looks like a lot though because of our glasses. Like they're like thin, like little thin glasses. Wow. Okay, cheers to the first taste. The taste. ideal body shape, the standards for women. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cheers to the first coffee. Mm -hmm. So it's not bad because you know I'm not gonna say that's bad. Um, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't alcohol, sweetie. That was just coffee. I don't know if I like that. That was like a lot. I've had it with like milk before. I've had Francisco coffee before. That was a lot. I, I also chugged it. In. You shouldn't chug it. No, but this was really good. It's um, like I told you all in my other YouTube video, like when I was making my coffee, it's like Dunkin', like the Dunkin' coffee. So it's like a little bit bitter. It almost tastes like... Alcohol. Like a brute champagne almost, but like no bubbly. Just like the brute taste. I don't know how to explain that. Like how do you, would you explain it? Um, it definitely has like... Um, a more earthy taste than I expected. Like a, yes. like, it's like, uh, like, so like cocoa beans, right? Like it has like mm -hmm. that chocolatey sense, but it's not like a refined cocoa bean. It's like a cocoa bean you like just got from the tree. So it still mm -hmm. has like that earthy element, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that super, like, I feel like I would describe this as ripe, but not mm -hmm. necessarily in a negative way. Just like, that's what it tastes like mm -hmm. to me. Also, I don't chug coffee, kids. Like that's like, like you can't- I'm the one who chugs coffee. Well, you can't even taste it properly, technically. Um, you should let it like splash across your tongue. It also tastes like tequila. So the next one is a uh, QT coffee. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk about it prematurely and I'm just gonna pour it and see what happens. <laughs> okay, the next coffee is again QT, like I just literally said like seconds ago. Uh, it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look bad. I didn't put that much in it. It definitely smells like vanilla, but like also like a chocolatey, like white mocha taste. Um, let's let's give it a swirl. What? 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 Oh, 
No, no, sir. This is disgusting. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Mm -mm. Like, I, no. I kind of also have a soft spot for gas station coffee because my wallet appreciates it. I'm so sorry. Like, I, my wallet probably would appreciate it too, but that literally tastes like flavored water. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely super watery. Like, I'm not gonna pretend like it's not. Um, I will say though, um, as far as like what it does taste like, if you if it wasn't watery, I think it does actually a really nice job of. Um, you were right about like the mocha like kind of smell. It definitely mm -hmm. has like some chocolate notes in it. It's hard to tell because it does have vanilla creamer in it. But in addition to that, it has like a surprisingly like like in Greece we have these cookies called curavietes, and we. Um, when you take them out of the oven, you splash like orange flavored like water on it. Mm -hmm. And so to give it that like floral, like sweet taste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it kind of has like a floral, like a floral note to it, kind of similar to those cookies, which is surprising. Um, See, I just, it just tasted like water to me. Definitely like everything I just said, but watered down, like a hundred percent. And granted, she was also a barista at Starbucks too, so she knows naturally more than me and like knows how to describe coffee a little bit better than me. I basically, like in the words of my mom, I drink black tar, she says, because of how strong my coffee is. But I don't think it's that bad. I think it could be stronger, I'm just saying. By the way, this bread is so good. The next coffee that we uh, got was McDonald's. Again, this is just like regular coffee with vanilla, um, like flavoring or something. Same thing as the QT coffee, it's probably gonna taste worse. I don't like McDonald's coffee personally. I think it's disgusting. I've never had but, it. But um, let's, we're, I'm gonna give it one last try and it's not what I like. Um, I'm never buying coffee from there again. For this coffee, we got it in a nice version um, for convenience while going through the drive-thru. But uh, yeah. Because she almost dropped the coffee on herself. I do not know how many times. Maybe if someone It's got... a Denton Rose. Go gonna... watch my TikTok for the uh, for the uh, Never Have I Ever Driving Edition, and you'll understand why she almost dropped the coffee multiple times. Gee, I guess in this case, coffee. But... So yes, yeah, let's try this McDonald's. <laughs> it literally tastes like water. It tastes like <laughs> like it smells like what? Like <laughs> not necessarily like I don't know. Like, I'm sorry to be vulgar. Um, it just smells like um, like a bathroom um, and tastes like a bathroom. And again, just to clarify this guys, make this a disclaimer. This is our opinion. This is like what we like and we're not trying to come off classes or elitist by any means necessary. This is just, we have coffee preferences. Like everyone else out there has coffee preferences and different preferences. This is our preference and this is our opinion. Just wanna put that disclaimer out there so nobody comes for us. And it also just might be the McDonald's we went to, so. Fairly near McDonald's, so. Yeah. Okay, the next coffee is the one I've been waiting for all night. Um, my third, I think, Starbucks of the day, maybe second or third, I don't remember. But this is just a tall, I got Ben last time so we're we're getting somewhere and <laughs> growth question mark improvement is this is this so we got a french vanilla latte rather than just regular french like vanilla coffee or whatever so i am very excited at least this is a good one so we're just gonna give it a little swirl a little whirl a little taste test really sweet it is a little bit too sweet for my tasting and like tastes like a lot of milk. It's not bad, it's pretty good. But for those of you who know me personally and just know me in general, I feel like everybody on my channel just knows me personally just because I want to be friends with you, every one of you. Um, but you guys know that my coffee, I like it basically, again, like tar. I like it very strong. So we're just gonna pour some of my coffee in here um, and just add that little bit of, um, oh, this is a little bit. Yeah, definitely super, super sweet. Um, very milky. I mean, it's a latte, so like it is majority milk with a little bit of espresso. Um, I think with a tall, it's only one espresso shot too. So, um, well, one or two. I can't remember. It's been a while. But, I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It's just definitely super sweet. It also tastes like, it honestly just, to me, it tastes like milk. Like, that's all I taste. Even with adding like my own coffee, like, I literally just taste milk. Isn't that weird? Like, I don't know. 
it's okay. It's not my, my favorite coffee. But then again, I feel like, again, I like black tar. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's better than any of the other ones that we've had so thus far. It's pretty good, like, for a drink that doesn't taste like coffee, if that makes sense. It's just, like, very, just very subdued. I mean, like we said, latte. I mean, like, it's good. It's be, perfect for, like, the starter, I think. It'd be good for, like, low-key milk tea, like a boba. Like, if this was, like, iced. Yeah, I agree. All right, the next one that we have is from a little place in where we live called um, West Oak. This is like a super duper popular place like in the downtown area. Uh, it's a really, really good place. I've had their coffee before and I haven't really had their French vanilla before. But again, this is another French vanilla latte. I kind of like this one better than the Starbucks one actually. I wish it was stronger but I think I like the tones a little bit better and it's not nearly as milky as the Starbucks one. Yeah, no, it's definitely, it actually tastes like it has espresso in it, which is nice. It's a pretty thin, like, um... It's not a strong coffee though. No. It's like thin, but not in a bad way. It's like definitely, I would say refined. It's probably the most, um, this is like a small, like, you know, local coffee shop. So they like actually kind of like, but they make, don't they make their own beans? They roast them. Um, okay, yeah. And obviously, like, I'm gonna put everything in the description below. If you guys wanna check them out, go give them a like, or go give them a follow on something. I don't know if they have any social medias. But yeah, that's what I would recommend. But yeah, go give them a like, see what they're all about. Uh, ma'am. Ma'am. The last coffee that we have today, um, this like this is probably one of my favorite coffee shops aside from Starbucks. Starbucks is like my go-to, but like here where I live, this is my favorite one that we have like in this area. And it's called Armadillo L Works. I actually had my 21st birthday there. 100% love it. Go check it out, guys. Please go give them a like. I know they have, I think, a few social medias. Um, so go give them a like. I'll link everything down in the description below again. Um, but yes, this place I really like I really really like and they actually do have really good draft beers as well so we're just gonna pour this in and then see how it tastes kind of disappointed with this one not gonna lie I love them a lot but this tastes really milky so yes um, that's all the coffees complete. Uh, let's give them a really quick ranking. Let's rate them 10 out of 10 real quickly. Um, whether it's 10 out of 10 or whether it's a flop. So yeah, so I would give my coffee personally, like just because it's me, like an 8.5 out of 10. I'll say like a s strong six. Oh, you know, I'll take that, I'll take that. Uh, QT coffee, I give it a zero out of 10. No, I'll give it a one out of 10. How about that, a one out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a zero. Well, I really did not enjoy it. Is that the one that tasted like a bathroom? No, no, I lied. I lied. QT, I give, uh, actually Loki, I give a seven. Uh, I really liked it. I liked it a lot. It was good. McDonald's though, straight. Like. Oh no, this is like a negative 209. Yeah, that was not yeah. like negative 9 million. Like never get it. So never get iced coffee there. It was so bad. It was. Okay, Starbucks. I give it like a, uh, I give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, usually I would rate Starbucks like a seven, I think, but this one was a little too milky. Yeah, yeah no, it, they didn't do very, that was not very impressive. Yeah, one. I'll say like six. Westo coffee, I'll give it like that one, like actually a seven out of 10. I'll give it an eight, yeah. actually. I think, yeah, actually I'll give it an eight because I enjoyed it the most out of all of them. Yeah, no, same, 100%. It like wasn't too milky, it was like that perfect combination. And then finally the Armadillo L works. While I love them very much, I'm going to have to rate them like a 4 out of 10. It was just way too milky for my taste, and the espresso was not there. I'll give it a 4 as well. I, I agree 100% about the milkiness. It was like, they could have, they were kind of, for me, they weren't way too much. They were definitely just over the amount, and the espresso definitely fell flat. I don't know. Yeah. Like It might have, in our defense, it might have just died down over time because espresso, but then it was mixed with milk. I know espresso is best right after it's made. So mm -hmm. maybe it is, but I don't know. I mean, it, like it, they could have done better. I've had coffee from there that's like freaking amazing. So they could have done better on that. Um, the pumpkin bread is a 10 out of 10, of course, because it's like that Starbucks pumpkin bread is just like perfect. Yummy. I'm talented. 
Nevertheless, let me know what you all think as well. Let me know what your favorite coffee is and, uh, and please tag me if you get any of these drinks on your social media, Instagram, etc., etc. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you guys for 76 subscribers. As well, I wanna say thank you to my friend Helena again for filming with me again for the hundredth, probably millionth time. It's totally fine, I love it. Um, and go check her out, y'all. Again, she created her first YouTube channel. She's a makeup artist, she's a makeup guru, makeup guru. she's a makeup connoisseur. So go check her out, let me know what y'all think. Uh, but again, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you know when I upload brand new videos. I love you all so, so much and we'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Bye y'all.